Chris is one of the most impulsive and unpredictable individuals you will ever meet. You won't likely find anyone better in terms of graphics design, and hardly anyone else is disorganized when it comes to creating and following a plan. His financial situation was in shambles until he started a daily habit that completely transformed his life. And in this video, I'll let you in on the one morning ritual that every wealthy person follows. But before we get deeper, if you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. So without further ado, let's get started. Chris's career in graphic design got off to a rocky start. He hardly had enough clients in the beginning to support himself for a month. He nevertheless persisted in promoting his abilities on social media sites and exhorted everyone he interacted with to spread the word about him. As the months went by, Chris began to receive more clients, which ultimately resulted in more work. Although many of his clients weren't pleased, he was. And let me explain why. Chris was the definition of a party animal. Perhaps a social freak would be a better description. Even when it wasn't necessary, he cherished going out. He might be in the midst of a task, then all of a sudden, you would hear him say, Hey bro, I'm in your neighborhood. Care to have a drink with me? After getting a call from a friend, Chris will be up and moving outside before you know it. Chris' major problem was in his social life, as there is nothing wrong with having one. His biggest challenge was drawing up a plan for his day and sticking to it. He got out of bed when he saw fit, slept anytime he liked, and worked only when the thought crossed his mind. Chris got a contract from his friend Marco to build a website for a company in his town. The contract was worth more money than he had ever made from a single client. One side effect of this time mismanagement was that he started handing in deliverables late. Chris failed to realize that the more work he had to do, the better organized he ought to be. Unfortunately, his tendency to not schedule his days had an impact on how he carried out his work. He was forced to choose between doing his job, visiting his parents, and responding to every request for alcohol. He didn't know what time was supposed to be spent on what task, which led him to miss several deadlines, including the one for the lucrative website contract he recently received. His clients were quite upset when he missed the first deadline because they run a serious well-organized company and had to meet the deadline for the website launch. The business was compelled to cancel the contract with Chris leaving him with just the advance payment made while continuing to look for someone else who could complete the job on time. Chris was greatly hurt by this turn of events. First of all, he had wasted enormous sums of money that he would have earned after finishing the project. Second, the person who helped him obtain the contract, his friend, was furious with him. To top it all off, Chris had used his credit card extensively for major purchases in anticipation of a sizable payoff from the contract, which he had now just lost. He was now in debt and had a lot of things he didn't need. Chris spent some time sitting on his couch at home and pondering why he wasn't able to meet the deadline. He just wasn't able to understand it. Fortunately for him, he was about to learn something that would alter the way he conducted himself. Later that evening, he was visited by his friend Marco and had a chat with him. He was aware of Chris's exceptional graphic design skills as well as his disorganization. What went wrong bro? Why are you unable to organize yourself? Marco said. You had plenty of time to finish the first milestone but you didn't. When asked why he couldn't meet a deadline, Chris said, I know, but I had some other things to do along with some extra work at hand. As soon as he said it, Marco dismissed this weak justification. The issue isn't having a lot of things to do or work to get done. Your failure to plan your daily activities is the main issue. You must set aside time for specific pursuits and exercise sufficient self-control to stick to them. Chris listened as Marco explained that Wednesday planning is essential to how much one can accomplish in a day and ultimately for the rest of their life. 
He continued by offering Chris some suggestions for organizing his day and effectively completing all of his tasks. Tip number one, make a list of all your tasks. Chris had never done this before, so the idea was quite foreign to him. Marco said that outlining one's daily tasks, either on paper or a smartphone notepad, can help an entrepreneur thoroughly get organized. He went on to discuss the benefits of writing down daily plans. He mentions that it serves as a reminder of your daily obligations. You can set aside specific times for each task. It can help you meet deadlines and it can keep you from getting sidetracked with unimportant or distracting activities. Tip number two, plan the same time every day. They claim that if you consistently do something, it will eventually turn into a habit. And we all know how difficult it is to break habits. Before going to sleep the previous night or as soon as you awaken in the morning, you could plan the following day. By doing this each day, you can make sure that you complete all of your tasks on time and without skipping a beat. Tip number three. Put the task in the order that you want them to be completed. This advice has several potential outcomes. Your most crucial task might be the one you have to complete last, while your least crucial task is the one you have to complete first. All of this is based on the task at hand and the time of day that works best for you to complete it. Tip number four, set up interval reminders. It's a good idea to write down your daily plans but you might find it difficult to recall them all. Because we are all human, it is normal to occasionally forget something. Setting reminders will help you remember when to start a task and when to finish it so that you can move on to the next one. Remember that you might be able to be a little flexible with your timing. You can add an extra 30 minutes or so to finish a task if it should be finished by noon, but you are still working on it. But it all depends on the task at hand. If the project is lengthy and would take several days to finish, you can stop when the allotted time is up and move on to the next one. You can pick up where you left off the next day so it won't hurt you. Tip number 5. Separate work from personal tasks. It can be confusing and occasionally distracting to combine personal and professional tasks. It's a good idea to focus on personal tasks like cleaning, laundry, etc. in the morning. Then follow up with a list of the tasks you have for work that needed to be completed. Say by 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. You can take care of other personal tasks later in the day after work is finished. This could involve going to see a loved one, doing the grocery shopping, or even just hanging out with friends. Your to-do list will help you be very productive at work while still managing your personal life if it is divided into work-related and personal activities. Tip number six, list the minimum of two things you have to do each day. Every to-do list must include at least one personal task you cannot neglect and one related to your job that you cannot put off. Such tasks should be boldly written out so that you don't forget them. Writing out the reasons why such tasks you need to be completed that day, the benefits of completing that task, and the repercussions you will experience if you don't complete the task are additional tips. Even when you start to get lazy about these tasks, the importance you place on them will keep you motivated to complete them. Tip number seven, include some quick tasks in your list. It doesn't make the task any less significant just because it takes 10 times to finish. It might only involve quickly reviewing your email and responding to the most critical ones. You won't need to spend much time on this, but I assume you understand the value of regularly checking your email. These kinds of quick tasks are crucial. Consider this. That email might include a suggestion, a job offer, or some other kind of advantageous opportunity that you wouldn't want to pass out. Tip number 8. Refer back to your list as often as you can. The last piece of advice Marco gave Chris was to regularly review his list. While setting reminders is a great idea, keeping an eye on your to-do list frequently will help you stay focused on the task you are working on even before the reminder sounds. 
you will be motivated to complete each task one at a time when you quickly scan your list and are reminded of how many more you have to complete that day. Chris' spirit was lifted by Marco's advice on how to properly plan his day. From that day forth, Chris formed the habit of planning his tasks according to their importance. He discovered that he was beginning to execute all of his tasks in due time, regardless of how much work he received from his clients. His improved work output also opened the doors to more opportunities for him as a graphic design expert. And that's it for this video. Before you go, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.